Alright, today we're going to talk about permutations. And what permutation is, it's the number of ways to rearrange R distinct objects from N objects. And the formula for this is given by N factorial over N minus R factorial. And all you need to do is memorize this formula here. And permutation is usually represented by P n comma r or n b r so what permutation is if you're given 10 objects and you're asked to pick um, two of them then how many ways are there to choose them choose two distinct objects and this can come in handy in like a race or something so if you have 10 racers um, how many how many possibilities is there to get the first three people? And that is just 10 for the first position, 9 for the second position, and 8 for the third position. So you're taking 3 as R and 10 as N, and that's 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial. And that will give you the possibilities of uh, three, the first three positions in a race. And we'll, we'll go through some examples. So here we have the word, the three letters A, B, C and we want to rearrange them. So if we go by brute forcing, and what brute forcing is, is listing all possibilities. All possibilities by hand. So if you try that, we'll get ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB, and CBA. And that's all the possibilities you can get for rearranging those three letters. So if you try to apply this formula for it, so we have the number of objects is 3, so n is 3 objects in total. And we're trying to rearrange 3 object, objects, so r is also equal to 3. So by applying our formula, which is n factorial over n minus r factorial, we'll get 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 3 factorial and that is equal to 3 factorial which is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 and that is equal to 6 ways to rearrange A, B, C which is the same answer we have here Alright, so going more into some more examples, we have in how many ways can we rearrange the word maths? And there are two ways of doing it. With repetition, where you're allowed to replace each letter after taking it, or without repetition. So with repetition, the formula for this is just n to the power of r. So if, if, but for a, we have uh, the word maths, we have one, two, three, four, five, five distinct letters, and we want to rearrange five of them. So that's five to the power of five. And if you think about it in terms of which position, then if you have five letters for five positions, and for the first letter, for the first letter, you're, you're allowed to put M, A, T, H, or S which is all of the letters. So here you have five p possibilities. And since we're doing it with repetition, then there are also five possibilities for the second position, and five possibilities for the third, five for the fourth, and five for the fifth. And that's how we get five times five times five times five times five. And then we have um, our second case, which is without repetition. So without repetition is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then for the first position, we have all letters to choose from, which is 5. And for the second position, we only have 4 left, because we used 1 in the first position, so we have 4 left. In the third position, we have 3. Second, second position, we have 2. And last position, we have 1 letter left. And that is the same as our formula, which is n factorial over n minus r factorial. And that will just give you 5 factorial. Since our n and r are 5, then this will just become 1 factorial. 
All right, so in this case, we had all five letters were different. So let's try a word where there are multiple letters. So here we have eel. There are two e's. And if we brute force this word, then we're going to get e-e-l and e-e-l. Even though the e's are different, they're still the same letter, the same word. And same here, l-e-e -E and l-e-e. -E. The uh, first e is in the first, second position, the second E is in the last position, but here the um, second E, the first E is in the last position, and the la second E is in the second position. And that will just give you a total of three ways. So how this is done by permutation is, okay, you have N is equal to 3, R is equal to 3, and by our formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial you get 3 factorial over 3 minus 3 factorial now because we have two different two uh, of the same letter we also divide by 2 factorial because there are two of the same letter so here you have 2 factorial for the ways to rearrange the e's so 2 is a number of ways to rearrange the E's. And this will give you 3 factorial over 2 factorial, which is 3 ways. And now we look at a harder word, which is databases. So first thing you want to do is list out all the letters that you have. So you have D, A, um, T, B, S, and E. Then you want to count how many letters you have for each. So you have there's one D, there are three A's, one T, one B, two S's, and one E. So in total there are nine letters. So n is equal to nine. All right. Um, R is equal to nine since we're rearranging all the letters. So our formula again is n factorial over n minus r factorial. And that will give you nine factorial over nine minus nine factorial. And now we want to, re to we want to divide by all these numbers here. So divided by 1 factorial, 3 factorial, 1 factorial, um, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, and 1 factorial. And since all the ones don't really count then you're only left with 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So the 3 A's and the 2 S's that's all you have to divide by. Those just give you just a huge number. So if you pop it into your calculator, you can get the answer. But these are this is the number of ways to rearrange the word databases.